Lando Double or Nothing Issue 1 sees the title as Smuggler continue his upgrading of his prized ship, the Millennium Falcon. L3, on the other hand, doesn't like her partner's choice in where to delegate their credits to. Elsewhere on Cull Groon, fellow scoundrel Christus begins her plan to help free her father and her people from the Imperial Droid production facility they are forced to work in. The one thing stopping her is weapons and getting the weapons her team has past Imperials. She realises there is only one man who can smuggle them in for her. On Batuv, Lando is busy buying some new capes when he is met by Christus, who tells Lando her plight, but he is interested in only one thing, credits. After a run-in with someone he owes money to, Christus leaves him to think over her proposition. Lando discusses the deal with L3 and looks to rip Christus off, taking her credits and leaving her stranded, but L3 implores him to do the job and after some pushing, he accepts the job. The next day, Christus boards the Falcon with her guns and men, and en route to Kulgroon, Lando asks how a criminal like her became a freedom fighter. Christus says that she never was a criminal, just a survivor of the Empire that destroyed all forms of industry on her planet and made most of their people slaves, and some turned to less than legal work to survive. Lando also demands to know how she came up with the credits to pay him, seeing as there was no industry on her homeworld. Christus admits that the money will come from a combination of her and her father's money and she was planning on using it to restart a colony. Lando refuses to lower his fee as Christus leaves. Not long after, an alarm goes off, warning Lando of incoming Imperial TIE Fighters. Rushing to the turret, Lando blasts the incoming Imperials as L3 pilots close to an asteroid, maneuvering the Falcon under the tires and letting Lando finish them off. With the tires gone, the Falcon soon arrives at the Imperial occupied planet of Kul Groon. Lando Double or Nothing Issue 1 was a fun tie into Solo that dives a little deeper into Lando's days as a smuggler. I like that the story wasn't overly big, it's rather simple actually. Lando has to smuggle something and gets paid for it, that's really it. Even L3 in this issue, a character I didn't really like in the solo films, was pretty tolerable here, mainly due to the fact she had other lines that didn't harp on about droids' rights. I'm really interested to see if the next issue continues this trend of a simple smuggling story or whether there will be a twist revealed in some way. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.